Hello, ladies, gents, and violent bug stompers. Bug Hunter is the first game that absolutely hooked me. You may notice it is color red now. I have a winning streak of six. A freaking energy cube dropped on a pile of two when I was next to it. I didn't realize I will blow up. So <laughs> ended that. It was totally in the bag and it ended my win streak. I might go back to it, see if I can do something better than ten, than six, because you start, the more that you play, you get less days, and I assume that there's no end. You just, you know, go until you have one day to do it, and it's impossible. Anyway, let's dust off Seaside Drive. But first, we're going to look at the back of the box, check out the info. It's a one to two player arcade shooter. Nothing's more relaxing than a nice long drive by the sea, complete with plenty of gunfire. That's my kind of drive. I have mounted a minigun to my Nissan. Absolutely mow down the competition. Traffic is never a problem for me. It is the first game directed by artist Shane North, who also crafted the game's unique visual style. Wow me, wow me with this visual style. Oh, before we do it, before we do it, I will do a very truthful thing. And no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Get me out of here. Back to the li library. Library. Hit the info. This is a favorite. Look at that. Using the interface properly. All right, give me back to Seaside Drive. Dust it off. Let's check it out. I look forward to absolutely obliterating everything that stands in my path. I am a one player machine. Seaside Drive, all right. Is this a unique visual style? I have my doubts. Shooting up, shooting forward. Can I, I see, I actually can aim. Can I aim? Yeah, it, it is aiming. Of course, you, oh, you have a, a certain limit. Oh, I see, the bottom, is that? Oh, drift to charge, oh, what a, holy crap, that is complicated. <laughs> that is going to be a problem. So, it's the only way to do damage is to obviously shoot. Okay, but then the only way to charge it up is by running around. So you have to constantly be managing the... Woo! Can I grab that? No, it is not something to grab. You have to constantly be managing your charge level versus how much you want to shoot. Very complicated for just a two-button game. <laughs> it's a, a little difficult. Oh, like basically managing meters. Why? Oh, man, it's, it's rough. It's rough to keep track of like the meter at the bottom and also shooting the enemies and also not be murdered by the bullets. Oh, we had to destroy that. Otherwise it just bounces forever and it creates a big problem. Dang all... Dang all... Bullets? Oh, oh, oh. So basically it's just, you have to constantly go <laughs> up and down to be able to, to uh, drift into... into success. And it pays a lot to just move constantly back and forth. So you don't really want to ever st stand still. Very cool, very cool. I like it. Oh no! <laughs> uh, mixes sh a shmup. It's mostly a shmup, right? Oh, charge down. Hey, there you go. You have to base. Uh, I see. If you do a one long one, you charge up completely. So that's pretty good. All right. The, I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very simple. It's so very simple. After Bug Hunter, it is such a contrast. You know, two lives lost. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I lost a bunch of lives. You can st stop displaying it on screen. So I wonder how long these go. Most of the arcade games, as far as my understanding go, holy crap. Uh, most of the arcade games so far have been very, very short. Like Campanella. No, no, it's not Campanella I'm thinking about. What was the... Oh, no! <laughs> I forget the game I'm thinking about. But it's like, you just need to get through a few of the levels and you're gonna make it. It's just a matter 
of having the skill to get it done. If you drift back and forth constantly, you can shoot all the time. You can just keep that. You can keep that button. Please shoot forward! <laughs> the problem with, you know, having to drift. Oh! Having to drift means that shooting forward means not being able to drift. Oh, mistakes! Everything's fine! <laughs> alright, alright. Very cool. I like the fact that I'm not dying immediately. I, I am, I, I'm a big, big fan of any game that doesn't destroy me immediately. Alright, well, that's it. I like how also how it flies in as a... as a fiery bird of vengeance. Oh! You're up there, but... Oh, no, mistake! Oh, that was silly. That was very silly of me. That was absolutely pathetic. All right, so the game is over. Oh, look at me. Position number seven. Hmm, what is my, what is my, my short? Oh, let me do that. Mm, let's go with, uh, oh, sides. Let's go with something really simple and straightforward like cock. Look at me, look at me, I am in the high score. Well, obviously we're not done in this place. It is very simple game. No need to do any more explaining. Actually, there was zero explaining and zero figuring it out. Maybe it took one minute to figure out. And that is one of the huge, huge strengths of so many of these games. How good they are at explaining themselves. Even Bug Hunter with all the uh, far more complex mechanics. It's like it teaches you how to play in one level. Get Rex, get Rex come back, and uh, it just gives you prompts. They're super unintrusive. Very cool. How every every experience is very self-explanatory. You don't have to put a ton of thought into it in the sense that you know. You're not going through a seven-minute tutorial like so many modern games are wanted to do. Please don't murder me. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta drift, baby. We gotta drift. Always be drifting. A, B, D. Just throw the filth. Oh. Shoot backwards, baby. Oh. All right, it's all good. Don't lose your charge. Continue drifting into Tokyo. Whoa! <laughs> a little too enthusiastic with the backwards drift. The thing is, you know, there's not much to this game, right? I am sure. Like, how much more complex can the mechanic mechanics get? Basically, not at all. You're just going to get uh, different bullet patterns. We gotta charge, we gotta charge. Let me just do a couple. Whoopla! There you are. Yeah. Oh, almost uh, grab it. And all that can increase in uh, complexity is just the bullet patterns. Maybe power ups. There could be power ups going up. Hey, I am the greatest. I don't think I lost a single life. I am the most brutal, incredible Tokyo drifter, seaside drive madman. That you have ever thought, no lives lost. Mm -mm -mm. I am. Re Ooh, I get a coin. Wow. Oh, what the? <laughs> I just got done saying. This can't possibly have any extra mechanics. You're not supposed to shoot, are you? Because otherwise, you don't get the money. Or, or are you supposed to shoot? Oh no, I don't think it destroys them. No, it doesn't destroy them. You can stop me from clearing the crap out of this. Wow. I just got done saying, there's no way this game can become any more complex. I'm always getting humiliated by Derek Hugh and his shenanigans. I don't know who actually designed this game. Ooh. Give me that coin. <laughs> Two credits. That is how, that is how we're going to win against the dastardly design, the evil bullet hell of the monsters. Oh. Murder the evil cubes. Gotta say, not the most imaginative 
enemy design. <laughs> Listen, so what is attacking you here? Is it aliens? Is it... Is it people on jetpacks? Is it the Chinese? No. Let's just create cubes. And they explode, and then they... They create a spherical bullet. I just realize how utterly, utterly nonsensical it is. Uh, seems done on purpose, right? It's not like they couldn't have designed some kind of other nonsense to it. Ah, oh, that was a mistake of epic proportions. It's not like they couldn't have done some pixel graphics for people on parachutes or whatever. Uh, they made the deliberate choice of, now, now you're fighting cubes, bud. Deal with it. <laughs> That's just the way... The way that it, it turned out. Please, I would love to shoot forward, but it's impossible. <laughs> it's... Uh, the motherfucker kept reducing my play area and it fills me with dread and madness because I really wanted to do another perfect. That would have been great. That may be my highest pride moment of... Okay, we gotta go back and then shoot forward. Then, ah, okay, alright, alright. Didn't realize that when you shoot it, it kind of leaves you alone. This is a nightmare, though. <laughs> Basically, I'm not even paying attention to enemy bullets anymore. I'm just trying to keep the charge up. Alright, okay. Now there's balls! To leave wonder uh, if there's an achievement for not ever letting them hit the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beach balls, I have entered the most dreaded con uh, ball pool. I juggled the crap out of this bastard. All right. Boss fight. It is time for boss fight. Oh, baby. Okay, well, I've been horribly crushed by the amazing medicine ball. I did not do my proper physical therapy exercises. And now I'm being haunted by an absolute nightmare. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not right. Being haunted by a physical therapist nightmare? I don't appreciate it. We're doing okay. We did lose two lives. No, three lives, I think. Please be over. No! Oh, I thought for sure I was a goner. All right, hey! <laughs> we continue speeding. The cops cannot catch me. Going 70 million miles an hour around this seaside, the never-ending Miami coast. There's no turns. There's only going forward. Three lives lost is quite humiliating. Uh, I don't think you get credits, do you? No, you just keep going forward. So... Your reward for making it through is uh, eating dicks. And now there's just death itself. This is just an allegory. It is all symbolism for how deadly and dreadful it is to speed on Americans' roads. It's just ooh, a clear show of what will happen to your soul if you drink and drive. Oh, oh, these absolute scumbags. Oh, baby, <laughs> that was very intimidating. Oh, yeah, get blown up, you disgusting red pieces of trash. What is going on, brother? This is getting absolutely surreal. I am entering nightmare land. This is just awful. I cannot possibly fathom the nightmarish visions that this driver is getting do not do drugs kids you will end up designing seaside drive please oh oh gonna have to shoot sideways i i do appreciate how you can shoot sideways and up creates quite the variety oh we kind of need to destroy that thing or we will die horrendously so <laughs> please Allow me to go in there. There you go. Are we bossing already? Oh, Campanella is here! Whoa. It's death and aliens! They have 
all join forces to stop this campaign of drunk driving. Truly shameful. I am the bad guy in this game, quite clearly. The universe itself is spawning the most atrocious nightmares to stop me from reaching my destination. I am drunk driving in a heartbroken stupor because I just got done. I hung up with my girlfriend who is breaking up with me and I am speeding to her back home where she's at. What the? <coughs> where she's at so I can beat her to death. And the universe itself is preventing this from happening with the most disturbing nightmare monsters. That's gonna come down stomping, right? Yep. Okay, okay, I like it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> You're not actually trying to murder me. Another stomp. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got extremely upset. Oh, that was really close. Charge up that baby. Pretty easy boss, honestly. The boss fights have been probably the easiest part of Seaside Drive so far. The second one, the physical therapy nightmare, was probably the most the most uh, intimidating. Get destroyed, bitch. Are we done? Three stages? It's over? Three stages, I am the victor? Look at my incredible, perfect drive in my drunken stupor through the nightlife. Truly an impressive display of skill. I am the greatest. I'm gonna get this coin. I'm gonna get this coin into my pocket. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay, the charge actually never runs out. There's no reason. Oh yeah, you can destroy them. All right, great. Basically, ooh. no, no, why? Ah! That would have been so upsetting to lose the coin. Ooh, after working so damn hard. Give me that coin, baby. <laughs> so, we're back. Final stage. So, we got four stages, I see. We got four lives. What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Freaking free willy over here. Being a piece of scum. The actual jellyfish are coming out of the sea. Into the water. Alright, shooting forward. This is completely limiting my ability to navigate. The seaside drive. Oh! <laughs> I think. Did not expect this sudden death dive of the piranhas, okay? If you put me, pit me against these monsters when I know what I'm doing and I know what they're gonna do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Holy crap, brother. Some serious nonsense. Oh, the death dive! No! <laughs> Brother, don't destroy me now. Don't kill me after we have been so far along this seaside drive. Gotta say, of all the games we play so far, I would say this is the easiest. Uh, I would definitely say Campanella was way harder. Uh, I mean, so far, obviously. I, I haven't reached the end. But... Being able to figure out Campanella, or not figure out, but well, you know, playing through it and not suffering damage and all that stuff. Yeah, that was such a terrible mistake. I can't believe this is going this way. I really wanted to at least see the final boss. That would be great. Uh, I'm starting to lower my bar of success. This is a nightmare. Probably you just want to. Ignore the... Oh, the didn't realize, of course, that would happen. Basically, you want to ignore the octopus, right? Unless I get the chance to attack for quite a while. Oh, we gotta destroy all these filthy aliens. Holy crap, are the aliens, are they... Jellyfish? Holy crap! <laughs> oh man, we're almost to the end. Am I gonna be able to... What? Bruh. 
Bruh. <laughs> the incredible shark wizard. Very disturbing sight. I cannot drift, though. Very upsetting. Wow. No, the piranhas are the, the biggest threat to my safety. Oh, the shark teeth made it so difficult to drift. I think um, um, I have had enough. Seaside Drive, very fun little game. Not a whole lot. Yes, cock is now number two, baby. Freaking high beat me to it. But I am happy with, I am happy with Seaside Drive. A fun time that I'm just gonna shrug off and never visit again.